breezy again, gusts near 20 miles per hour. We'll get brushed with a shower or two as we head into the early part of the evening. Wind chills in the 30s and 40s, though, to start the day. Let's first look, though, at freeze warnings that are draping the region because it could be worse. And you really do need these crisp nights to get the colors to pop. And so all the ingredients are there that we're going to start to reach peak in about a week or two. But for other areas in our region, frost advisories north of Minneapolis towards Duluth and then all of Iowa, northern Illinois, mid uh, Ohio and even into mid Indiana freeze warnings until 9 o'clock this morning. So our first frost usually comes on October 5th, which we've passed that date. The latest frost we've ever had November 6th. And you got to go all the way back to 1900 for that. Now, first frost would indicate maybe temperatures around 36 because that reading is above the ground. So the surface could be freezing as far as actually recording a 32 degree day, which would be a fall freeze. The earliest we've ever had September 22nd, but our 30 year average is October 25th. Last year was November 13th on the later end. So so we still have a few weeks before we have to probably worry about that as far as our climatology, but you never know it could happen. So 42 degrees right now at Metro Airport, Ann Arbor 37, Lapeer 44, Monroe 40, and we have a light southwesterly breeze out there just enough to give us a few wind chill readings in the 30s. So Ann Arbor feels like 33, 38 is the wind chill at Metro and 39 the feels like up in Sandusky. I'll zoom out just quickly to show you the contour of blue here that indicates the cold air mass that's sinking all the way down towards St. Louis and Louisville. So we're just right smack dab in the middle of that cold air mass. Exact track 4D, some light showers into Marine City. That's our only place on exact track right now. So as we take a closer look at today, 54 degrees for the high, rain showers rolling in, probably about 5 o'clock onward. And then they don't last all evening. In fact, we'll get some rain showers rolling back in as we head into the later part of your Thursday. And then that starts an unsettled pattern Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. High temperatures staying in the 50s. So tomorrow will be the warmest day, and that's still 5 degrees below average. We'll be partly sunny with a high of 60. 60.